Hello and welcome to this World Highways Roundtable on how the digital revolution is transforming life on site for the better. We invited three leading experts on machine control technology from Leica, Topcon and Trimble to tell us how their systems are allowing an entire fleet of machines and the associated workforce on site to be connected in real time to a 3D virtual site. But how does it work on screen and what benefits does it bring? Introducing our key opinion leaders to discuss this further. The connectivity is here today. I think in generally all the systems that are, that are being put into the marketplace today, uh, the customer at least has the option to get connected to the cloud. Certainly the, probably the most common benefits and most common usage of it is data transfer. That data transfer back and forth is a key element and works very effectively. And then the other thing I think was also mentioned is the remote support. So having the ability for a uh, service technician, whatever, could be halfway around the world in real time can connect and communicate with that operator in the seat of his machine or at an office location anywhere in the world in real time provides just an unbelievable element of support from a cost effectiveness and probably more importantly from a time perspective because as we all know uh, uptime and production is is the lifeblood of our customers so I mean even you know in the old days it would be the same thing statistically we have probably 85 plus percent of our support requirements are non-hardware related it's either application training that someone doesn't necessarily understand how to how to do the application or they got into a <laughs> into a setting in one of the 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 control boxes of the machine and changed something up or you know there may be an intermittent failure something happening but uh, about eight, uh, 85 plus percent of the issues that come in are resolved over the phone or remotely over a computer. So it's just been a transformational change from that side of the business. If a customer gets connectivity, he'll never go without it again because it, I guarantee you, every single person or company that, that has the technology at some point has utilized that support mechanism and, and it's a uh, you know, it's a game changer. Today, it's just a, a price of admission. If you have an application or a, a tool that the customer is going to use to execute a workflow, it's, it's uh, you know, you can, you can use the platform of your choice, whether it's your phone, your tablet, your desktop. It's really become becoming and become uh, very, very easy as far as accessibility then it just becomes an issue of can you get your personnel to engage and really utilize the tools. The additional applications, the additional benefits that can be derived from the tools and the workflows can continually increase. And we'll see that with, with you know, experienced operators. Of, you know, they, they think of things, once they understand what the tool can do, they think of ways to use it that we may have never even thought of ourselves because they're in the dirt, they're, they're in the job, on the job, figuring out what they need to accomplish and know much, much better, I hate to say it, than us about really how they can, they can get their work done. And so uh, if we can get the training, you get the customer comfortable with the, the technology, uh, it's, you know, it's kind of boundless of what, how they can utilize it for their individual needs. For, for me, I guess this is probably the most exciting area. The next opportunity the industry has is, is around the, the, the connectivity, um, the real-time um, data collection and, and, and flow from field to office, and the 3D virtual realization of the entire project or the, or the model. Probably in the last few years, the, the richness and resolution and capability of the models, um, the, the, the to be built and, and the, and the as-built models um, increase significantly. Simulation tools, uh, of virtual construction tools that can be used to understand problems that might occur during the construct phase before they actually happen uh, are starting to bring real value. These are 
emerging technologies, I guess, in the industry, but comparing what was planned to be built and how it was planned to be built with what's actually being built, and, and then therefore, um, as it's been touched on already, being able to bring different um, resources in to either bring it back on track or to, to, to change plans or designs to even further improve the, the design plans. There's no doubt about that, the quality tracking as well, right? Um, so making sure things are built right. Um, I think we're seeing this starting to be adopted or driven by um, Department of Transports um, or DOTs, different legal bodies and, and even, even owners um, starting to require that their projects are built and delivered to um, a level of quality that's expected. So the collection of the as building information um, is, is required from a quality perspective, but also uh, from an operational maintenance perspective later on as well. So, so people understand how things were built. The augmented reality um, technologies that are coming into play now really help with the with the simulation not only in the office um, but augmented reality is, is coming out into the field to give that 3d virtual representation directly in the field so that people can I guess grasp what the project is going to look like before it's been built I think the skill of reading two-dimensional plans and and in your mind being able to represent them 3d in, in, in the space and where you're standing um, on a site uh, is, is almost a dying art we, we see the ability to grasp 3D space from 3D images or a, a 3D virtual environment really now is kind of taking over. I think what everything comes down to is uh, have a chance to be on the same page. So when you have the normal things on construction sites, you, you can have everything that happens from being on the wrong design model. Uh, it could be that uh, one crew has the wrong data and so on, right? So. What this collaboration tool and the cloud tools will give you is a chance, if you use it, to actually be on the same page, which means that you have a verification that you use the same data. Um, you can make sure that whatever tools you're using on site, if it's a machine, if it's a survey tool, a scanner, uh, whatever it is, you, you can say that the, the 3D model or whatever you call this gets everything into one place. And you shouldn't have to worry about, uh, you know, rework or other things that could normally happen because everyone is sort of in a disconnect uh, between each other. This is an exciting part because we can, we can help the customers to actually adopt something, uh, and which is quite simple. It's a cloud tool that give, gives them this uh, power and freedom to actually control their machines and their, their staff and their, and their people on site to be on the same page, to have the right data. This is helping them to make decisions. So all of these things are streaming into one thing, but I just want to finalize by saying, it's not just cloud as we know it. You also have to think about sometimes you are disconnected. So that means that you don't have a cloud to connect to. Then you need to still have a site cloud, you can call it, or site premise, to make sure that you can do these things as well if you don't have 5G or whatever kind of connectivity to stream data because again, the data consumption is increasing. We just need to know what to do with the data and how big are the packages to make sure it's not too uh, much data floating around. That's also a few parts in, in, in addition. Well, there we have it. Remote working means more uptime and higher productivity levels. Enabling service technicians to connect to an operator in the cab or a site manager in the office anywhere in the world immediately is a huge step forward, says Jamie. Using virtual tools to carry out what-if calculations are helping contractors spot problems before they happen, explains Scott, and getting everyone on the same page is leading to fewer errors, says Magnus. Downtime is being minimized and new ways of doing things are happening everywhere. Well, thanks for joining us for another snapshot from our World Highways Roundtable series. But do keep a lookout as there are many more to come. And if you'd like to see the full discussion, head over to www.worldhighways.com forward slash videos. See you soon.